Hi, my name is JD, and today I'm going to be checking out my new guitar. It's the LTD JM2. It's the uh, Josh Milton signature. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do like a little one minute track in a mix, so you can hear what it sounds like. Uh, and then I'm going to go through an amp, and we'll play around with some of the sounds and go through some of the features. Let's do it. Right, now that we've got that little song out of the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, run through some of the specs of the guitar and basically play some sounds and give you my opinion on it. So, this has a bolt-on neck, which is actually quite a surprise. I'm normally not a bolt-on guy, but um, the neck feels really, really good. It's a 25.5 inch scale, Macassar Ebonair, and it's a three-piece roasted maple. Now, I'll try and put some pictures on, and that neck is absolutely gorgeous. It is, it is perfect. It is absolutely perfect. Um, it's quite a thin neck. It's the extra thin U. So it is really, really small and thin, which is good, because I've got little tiny bit hands. Um, the finish is a black shadow burst. It's actually, well, it's brown, but I actually like the look of this guitar. There was another guitar. I'll put it on screen that I was going to buy, which is basically, I think it's the MH1000 version of this, uh, but it's a neck through, it's got the Evertune bridge, and I was umming and ahhing which one to get, and this one beat it, because I just thought, well, I like Josh Middleton, uh, I like Silosis, I like the riffs, so we'll try the guitar out. That being said, it has Fishman Fluence Modern pickups in, uh, which... I don't really know. I know a lot of people use the Fishman pickups now. I've not used them, not through anything, but just not really tried them. Uh, and I don't like them, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but that's not true. I do like them, but when it's in the um, the voice two, so when you pull it, so I think that's the pull for tone voice two. And yes, so it's when you pull it, I think it's like the passive side and when you push it in it's uh the active side i don't like the active side on these they've got a weird frequency that i don't know what it is but uh i'll try and play and see if you can hear it i just don't know what it is but i don't like it so it's pushed in now it's on the active <laughs> Now, I don't know how well that's coming across in the video, but it's as if when you push it back in, it just sucks all the low end and kind of sucks the life out of it. Now, I get why people like him, and I get why Josh likes it because he's a rhythm player and with the active pickups, they are quite compressed, but you get that, you get that, uh, what's the word, consistency in the tone. There's not not as much dynamics, so when you're just chugging that, you get that consistent. So I'm guessing that's why he uses them. I mean, a lot of other people use them as well, um, but personally, I don't like them when they're pushed in. When they're pulled out, Sounds 
absolutely awesome. Um, it's got a Dota Tone Pro's Bridge, which is recessed, which is really good. Because normally I play with the Evertunes. I love the Evertune Bridge. Uh, if this had one, it would just be like the ultimate guitar. But the fact that this bridge is recessed is is really good because you can see it's quite flat and that's what I like about Evertune bridges. I mean, plus the fact that it stays in tune. But even before the Evertune came out, I used to use Floyd Rose guitars. Not because I did any bends or anything like that. It was basically because I like it when the strings are just completely flat. Um, so yeah, bonus points for that. Uh, it looks great. Love the colour, the neck. I think they're roughly about £1,400 these. And I think it's value for money. Um, I honestly do believe that these are just as good as a, a, an E2, uh, the ESP, what is now the ESP standard, I think. Uh, obviously, it's quite a high price, but the thing with LTD is they consistently make good guitars at every price point. And I think... I think it was Louis Torres who did a video a couple of couple of, couple of months ago or a couple of years ago, basically saying that his LTDs are just as good as the ESPs. And I think he's right. I think if you bought this, this is just as every bit as good as an ESP. I actually had an ESP KH2, which is the Kirk Hammett one, an actual ESP one. And it was just like this. It's it's just perfect. So I'm going to go through some sounds now. I'm not going to go through all the settings on the amp. I am actually using the Marshall JMP, which was owned by Josh. Uh, I bought it off him about a year ago, maybe two years ago. Um, so, yeah, let's just play around and get some sounds. <laughs> So yeah, not much more to say about this guitar other than that it's a really good guitar and um, I would recommend that you check one out. Uh, I'll put some pictures, try and put some pictures on screen uh, during the video. There is one defect on this, uh, I'll put that on screen now, but it's just a tiny bit of look like paint that's gone on the, in between the neck pocket. I think it's on both sides as well. Yeah, just a tiny bit there. Uh, but other than that, there's there's nothing, um, nothing that I can. I mean, I've had it for about a couple of weeks now, and there's nothing that I can point out. There's no flaws in it. Um, it is really, really good. Yeah, it's got a little uh, little access for the heel as well. Uh, but yeah, check it out. Uh, and if you get a chance to play one, I think you'll really, really like it. So. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.